check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Kudret. Today we have a new atomizer here, Naive RT from Digiflower. As you see it here, Siren version for MTL RTA. Long time uh, it was on the market. This Siren atomizer, which is I've been, uh, I started with the MTL user with the Siren 2 version 2. Now become like a C version 4. I didn't use the version 3. Now we have a 4 here. I have two uh, gonna gunmetal uh, version up here 2 ml liquid capacity all the details on the back side here you can see it all them facebook all and everything all the details from digiflower you can see it's classic packaging from them as inside to here we got our mtl a little bit small mtl automizer here rta and you see it here like a dri long drip tip it is look like a little bit not really nice but vaping is really good with this directive as you see almost same height as a rta is a little bit small rta up here 22 millimeter and then we will look in the box inside here we got some watcher here and all the user manual and everything and then there is another box we got it from there and then we get all the extras one more 510 drip tip up here and our screwdriver a couple of warnings and then two screw up there for extra in case you lose them and then there is a four different coils coming inside here one of them mpl clapton and then mpl fuse clapton the other one is normal cantal uh, wire there is a mtl fuse clapton and then both package is a two cotton inside total is a four cotton you get it it's like a full full box you get it from the as you see here needs kind of design from the digiflower and then a little bit different airflow control up here as you see when the all that marks you see it when they are separated and then this is the heavy uh, this is the smallest hole this is the biggest hole as you see here there's a one stopper and then like this airflow is fully op uh, closed now i think 510, uh, 510 pin is long enough for the hybrid mechanical mode and then you see the under the flower and everything and then of course there is a top fill up here like i say 2 ml liquid capacity you see under here there is no o-ring or anything like that kind of flats and what is e so easy to opening this top cap top filling up piece and everything is so nice if you open the deck section here like i say it's 2 ml is yeah it can be a little bit small is all up to you as you see here inside of it and everything and then here is our deck i have a 26 gauge uh, cantal up here here is our cotton holes as you see here liquid is coming through from here for the picking the cottons and the so easy flathead screw here as you see so easy to put the wire and the cotton here is not a problem at all if you want i can show you a little bit how to do wire cotton and everything we will vape and we will talk about it more
was the silent version the uh, for as you see from the flower I'm using like this now uh, airflow is full open now it's open a little bit is a problem with when it's on the mode you have to leave it open then turn the airflow control here and I'm getting 1.4 ohms 11 watts let's wait I'll put a little bit up the voltage I'm gonna put around 13 watts it's really nice I is a little bit too much airflow for me and I'm gonna put the voltage a little bit more up because I like a little bit warmer vaping I put on the 15 watts like this is better for me now first of all I just want to say uh, with the, this siren uh, version 2 I start with MTL now it's become like a version 4 this RT is really nice especially if you like to for MTL RTA like a kind of warm wave or something this RTA is really good for you but if you like a little bit uh, cooler wave and everything you have to be you cannot have a this RTA because this is mostly for warm wave RTAs it is really nice RTA nice flavor I'm getting it nice uh, throat heat and everything like uh, I say uh, this new airflow system kind of not like a new but different than other one is working perfectly and everything but when it's atomizer on the mode it's difficult to open this airflow control you just have to make a little bit loose and then turn it that airflow ring directive is uh, this is the mostly I like it yeah kind of I like I like the vaping about it but it look like not really my favorite but uh, vaping is really really good with this directive I love it normally I always changing when new atomizer came and everything but this is a really nice one i don't have any problem 2 ml liquid capacity is not that big i don't know if it's taking all day because i'm using two three setup as a day like a two different or three different atomizers that's why it's enough for me but most of the people are using just one atomizer all day that's why maybe it's not enough for 2 ml liquid capacity but what we can do about it easy to wicked easy to put wire and everything there is no problem at all like I say, I wish it was a little bit bigger capacity or something, but then is flavor going a little bit down and everything. But this is perfect as a flavor, as a vaping and everything. I don't have any problem with the atomizer at all. Yeah, I don't know what to say about it more. It is really warm vaping and everything. Nice flavor. That's it, I think, for today, for this video. Thank you very much for watching me. If you like the video, you know where is the button. And then don't forget to subscribe. Have a nice day. Take care of yourself.